Hey guys, welcome back to Morgan Hill Farms. It is a wonderful overcast day here. It's been nice and cool. You can see behind me, I have a lot of my fall crops that are growing wonderfully. So it's really nice to know that those crops are going to be feeding us throughout the winter. Um, we still have a little while left until our first frost. So we are harvesting peppers by the bucket load. Um, that's what we've been doing a lot of today, preserving those along with school and then just some household chores and things like that. But let's not beat around the bush here. I wanted to come on today because there's something that I became aware of that you guys probably have not heard of. This has not been getting any media attention and it is I mean major. When I say major, I mean like probably one of the biggest things besides our financial crisis that we're in right now that we should be paying attention to and that the American people should know about. So basically on September 22nd and 23rd, the UN had a summit. They called it the Summit for the Future. And what that summit was, was basically to allow the UN to become an international governing body um, and now the WHO is in on this as well. Um, so it allows the UN to become a governing body in case of a crisis, okay? So there were um, some people in Washington, you know, that did not want to let this happen. They went ahead and they implemented a bill a couple of days before this summit occurred, um, stating, you know, that it needed Senate advisement before we went ahead and just gave away all of our freedom, freedoms to the UN. Um, but apparently that didn't matter because we went ahead and this administration uh, went ahead and, and said, you know what, we're, we're on board with this. Let's go ahead and do it. Now, if you remember, the previous administration had gotten us out of the WHO. Okay, this administration went ahead and just took all of that out, put us back in with the WHO to the tune of $850 million a year that we have to pay them. But we actually pay them more than that just because this current administration wants to. Um, so while you can't afford to pay for your groceries or pay for your gas or pay for your child to get medical care, they're sending your hard-earned tax dollars over to an international governing body um, to pay them for who knows what. So basically the UN used to be sort of like a cooperative body. Okay, now they're becoming an international governing body. So what does the summit for the future even mean? Well, it means that if the UN determines that if there is any type of global crisis, global emergency, anything like that, that they now have full power over the United States and over whatever other countries agreed to this. So basically saying like, you know what? Screw your constitution. Uh, we will now be in charge. Um, so you and I may say, you know, we didn't vote for this. We're going to stick by the constitution. We are going to go by the rules that are, you know, the founding fathers set for us. Um, because all of these countries in the UN that hate us, you know, they hate our constitution. They hate the way that we were founded. They hate everything that Americans stand for. Um, they now will have a say in what happens to us. Um, so that right there should really, really scare you. But the UN can now come in and say, you know, if there is a health emergency, if there is a financial emergency, how about an environmental emergency? How about climate control? These are all in there. Um, it's a 56 page document and I encourage you to go read it if you can. Um, so was, where do we end off climate control? What if there's a cyber emergency? What if there is um, like a global restriction of um, goods, um, global restriction of, of the flow of people, all of these kinds of things. Okay, so they've listed that out, but they haven't actually defined anything. So who is to say what an emergency is? And what does that mean for you and me? Well, it basically means that our freedoms are being stripped away from us at a super fast pace. So over decades, we have let our freedoms just erode away and we've been asleep. We haven't even noticed, you know? I mean, I only came to know this stuff in the past three to four years. And, you know, Nate knew it before that, but we get so busy with our lives that we're not paying attention and we're not doing anything to combat this, you know? So I don't understand how our current administration can just go over to the UN and go ahead and sign on for this and just negate all of our constitution. Um, I guess that maybe we'll have some hope in the Supreme Court if, if they can even do anything at this point, I really don't know, uh, but it's very, very scary. So we're now under the UN's control whenever they deem fit. And they have put in there that they can have immediate action. Okay, so what does that mean? That basically means that all they have to do is go to the UN, say, hey, 
we're having this emergency. We want to mobilize. And the UN says, yes, they don't need the approval of our administration, of our government, anything. Nope. They just all of a sudden come in and now we are under their authority. They've also mentioned international health regulations. They've also mentioned the surveillance of U.S. citizens to comply with the U.N. authority now. And last but not least, they also mention censoring dissenting views. So for you that don't know what that is, um, if you say something that they don't like, whether it's true or not, they can censor you. Um, they can probably fine you, maybe imprison you. I, I don't know to the lengths of what it will go. But if you look at Twitter, if you look, or X, I guess, in Brazil, you know, where the government took that down um, because they wanted to censor that information. That's what we're looking at here. And, you know, I've also seen videos of people in Australia during the pandemic that were arrested in their homes for, you know, making a comment on social media. So is that coming to America? Well, under the UN, I think that they would love that to come here. We are now essentially enslaved by the United Nations and the WHO. Um, you know, they can say, hey, you know what, you can't get medical care unless you have something done. You can't buy food unless you have this. Perhaps you can't get a passport or you can't travel. Perhaps we have an emergency and you need to now wear something. Um, if you don't do that, maybe we can arrest you. Maybe we can put you in jail. Maybe we can fine you. Maybe we can, you know, freeze your bank account. Maybe you can't buy food if you don't comply with us. And what does that mean for homesteaders? I don't know. Maybe I can't have livestock because is it an environmental emergency because my livestock is, you know, polluting the ozone? Um, maybe I can't have electricity uh, for a couple days a week because, you know, maybe, maybe that's, that's, you know, bad for the environment. Maybe I can't raise my own meat because, you know, that could be bad. Maybe I can't even live on acreage because there is a population crisis and it's just not fair that I have acreage and that someone else doesn't. So we're going to put you all in these high rise buildings, you know, where you get 200 square feet per person in your family. Is that coming to America? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but I wanted to get this out here today. I wanted to tell you guys all of this because it's not getting any publicity. This should be one of the number one things that everybody is reporting on, whether it's, you know, the left or the right. We should all know about this and be informed about this. And the American people should have a say. We should not just be able to sacrifice our freedoms to these international countries who hate us. And to top it all off, they are now requiring us, or we are now subject to a 5% fee. So we have to pay them 5% every year of our total medical dollars spent. Does anybody want to guess how much our total medical dollars spent annually are? Well, it's in the trillions. So if you thought we were getting a break with 850 million, um, you were right, because we will be paying substantially more now. Um, I hope that there's a way that we can reverse this. I hope that I don't, I don't even know how it would work to reverse it. There's been just so much nefarious activity within our government um, and within the world that, you know, this may just be the route that we're going on and this is just what we have to live with. So just keep preparing, keep making sure that you have what you need. Um, you know, food is of utmost importance. You know, that is the one way that they can control you. You tell me if someone came to your door and your child was starving and they said, hey, you know, we'll feed your kids. Just go ahead and sign here and sign everything away for, you know, to us. Would you do it? You know, if your kid was starving, would you do it? I think most of us would. Um, so food, make sure you have that. Make sure you have medical supplies, medical care. There are companies where you can order antibiotics, um, things like, you know, eye drops for pink eye, ear drops for ear infections. Make sure that you have some of that stuff on hand. If you don't want to go, you know, the medical route, you can go more holistic with medicinal herbs. Um, make sure that you have supplies that are going to keep your operation or your farm or your garden or whatever it is that you're doing running. Um, maybe buy, you know, 2,500 gallons of propane like the Obamas are doing. Uh, maybe store some underground tanks somewhere. That might be a good idea. Propane's very useful. Um, they, uh, they may be preparing as well for what they know is coming. <laughs> Anyways, um, so just to brighten your day here, I hope that you all are in good spirits. Um, hopefully I didn't bring you down too much today. But anyways, guys, um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I will keep trying to get information out to you as well as showing you the garden, what we're doing, what we're preserving, and everything that we're doing here to be more self-sufficient. Um, but like, subscribe, and share so that we can get this stuff out there so that people can see what is happening. Anyways, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.